So in the last video, we uh, got the new drive motors mounted up to the gearbox. And so I think this is going to be a pretty good upgrade for the robot, but it's, uh, it's also kind of untested. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and just sort of bolt these up together. I'm going to use the, the old frame for disinformation that I'm, I'm not going to use this again, but I can bolt everything up in it and I can just drive it around for a bit and make sure that these are going to going to function the way I want. So uh, right now we're going to go ahead and assemble these guys in here and give it a test and see what we can do. These little spacers go um, on top and below the gearboxes for the drive setup so that I can set the height internally in the robot to be what I want. So these are half inch spacers. Um, and the gearboxes are inch and a half square, so I'm going to try to set a two and a half inch internal height with these. Uh, unfortunately, these came out of the other robot, uh, the previous build version, and so they have a little crud all over them because the robot caught fire. So we need to clean them up. So I'm going to throw them in my ultrasonic cleaner for a bit, and uh, we'll see how they come out. All right, my timer's up. Let's see how I can already tell they're cleaner. Let's see what we got here. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so most of the most of the burn residue is gone. There's still a little bit. They come out of there hot. So they're Cleaner, maybe not quite clean enough, so we'll, we'll run them through there one more time and see what we get. Not that they will work all that much worse, dirty, but uh, got to make them look new. So this is one of the spacer plates that I just cleaned up. Um, so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to not going to bolt everything together, but just enough to get it mounted in here for testing. So. I'll just go ahead and throw a couple of screws in so we can we can get it mounted in the robot. So Okay. One drive pod. All right, so we got uh, two of them ready to mount into the robot. Let's go ahead and bolt those guys down and then we can, uh, can kind of do what we need to do to get them tested. These bolts look slightly rusty. Mm -hmm. That's uh, <laughs> that's not rust, that's the that's from, that's from when they caught on fire. All right. Hey, drive train. Okay, how am I gonna tie all this stuff in here in such a way that it That's the. What is that? I'm trying to go too fast into providing a current, and it's the controller and the motor aren't syncing. Well, I've got I've got the speed controllers program. They do at least function. I'm not a hundred percent happy with how it works. Um, so I've got some some further playing to do with some of the settings. But I think it's close enough. I should be able to at least drive it around for a bit and just make sure that it's actually going to have the power to move the robot around. So I guess the next thing to do is get it out in the driveway and drive it around for a bit and see what happens. Okay, so one of, one of the one of the things I mean, whenever it 
does that little squeak, it's because it's out of sync. Yeah. Um, and that side just doesn't drive for that second. But the other side, I haven't had them where they both do it. So my biggest worry is, so I drive into somebody and I got to turn in a hurry to get the weapon onto somebody. As long as one side is turning, it's, it's, it's going to work. You know, that's, it's, it's pretty controllable actually. Now, kind of push them for a bit and see how warm the motors get. And they're, they're, they're barely warm. Well, I mean, we're driving around for a bit too, yeah. and they're, yeah. you know, um, you know, and they're, I mean, they've warmed up, but they're they're not hot by any stretch. Now, this is this is there's no weapon on here, so it's fairly lightweight, so they're they're not working all that hard. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I'm. Yeah. Now it's got. Got good torque. It looks like it. I can see it pushing against your. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's got it's got good torque. So I don't know. I'll play with the settings a little bit from here, but I, in general, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I'd call that a fairly successful test. It drives pretty good. Has plenty of power. Plenty of torque. Some control issues I'm still going to have to work with, so I'm going to have to do some programming things. But I could run it as it sits. In that regard, I think it had plenty of power for what I need. There are some caveats to this. I, it, this doesn't weigh what a full 30-pounder does. Um, in fact, that's a, that's a good question. Let's just throw him on the scale. So with no weapon and no armor and what, it's, you know, it's just under 12 pounds. So... Um, Obviously, I'll have to do further testing when I assemble the new version of the robot. But um, I'm, I'm encouraged enough by how this worked that I think we're, I think we're pretty well set there. So I just got to finish up the rest of that stuff, play with the programming on the speed controllers a little bit. And now I'm ready to start, you know, the rest of it, the frame, the weapon, all the rest of that stuff. So uh, just, uh, just keep watching. This is going to be a fun rebuild. We're going to have more, more of this coming down the road.